Once it had been proposed to me that the story could be told as a musical, I realized that deep down I shouldn't be surprised. After all, one of the ways that I had decided to humanize the green-skinned witch, the I'll get you and your little dog witch, um, I knew that she had to have a voice too. And in fact, in the book, she sings three different times and she has a good voice. And I thought, if you give anybody a solo song, you cannot hate them as much when they have finished singing as you did before they started. I said, you know, Dorothy wanted to go home and the Cowardly Lion wanted courage and the Tin Man a heart, the Scarecrow wanted brains, and I think the witch wanted an accompanist. She wanted a chance at the spotlight and a microphone herself. And I had already given her that in the novel. So once I stood back and looked at it, I thought, oh, this had all the bones of being a musical already. I just wasn't smart enough to see it. The first time I saw Wicked on the, on the boards with the full Monty, the full costuming and the lighting and, and 1,699 other people in the theater next to me, I went in and I sat down in row H and thought suddenly, oh my lord, I didn't bring a paper bag to put over my head in case this is terrible. Furthermore, I'm not even on the aisle. I might be stoned. I might be torn apart limb by limb if this is really terrible. Uh, the curtain opened and uh, the flying monkeys came down and uh, Galinda came out in her bubble and made everybody laugh. And I still thought, oh, is this going to be a little bit creepy. <laughs> Is this going to be a little bit Saturday Night Live, which was not what my book was about. And then at about the 12 minute moment when the, the opening number was done and the play begins in flashback, doors opened at the back of the stage and Adina Menzel playing Alphaba at the first paying performance of Wicked came out from the back of the stage and came forward and she got this huge roar of applause. Now, Adina Menzel was known to people who follow theater, follow musical theater for, for rent, but she wasn't the name that she is today. And it was clear to me, and really clear to the producers of the play too, that as, a, as admirable as Adina Menzel would come to be, the audience was not clapping for the actress. They were saying hello to the witch. They were delighted to see her again. And they, I mean, it was not a standing ovation, but there was a, I talked about that, that tidal wave, that tsunami of feeling that crests out of you and, and joins the feeling of everybody else in the room. And there was applause and people had bought into the project even before she opened up her mouth and sang her first glorious note. And at that point I knew, this might be good. <laughs>